In te ao Māori, we have this word for the world called te ao marama. Well, that encapsulates this concept that everything that is touched by our moon is related, is family. The rocks, the humans, the, the plant kingdoms. That's why I use natural materials. First I go out and source a rock. I love being in the mountains, I just soak up the vibes there, find something that doesn't interrupt the ecosystem, something that you know I'm allowed to take, bring it back to the studio, and the rock really informs what I do with it. So rather than trying to come up with an idea and execute it, it's more like I'll look at the rock and work out what I can do to complement it. In Aotearoa, we would approach like the local iwi to ask permission if we, we were doing anything on their land. Or that's where I'm coming from, that's, that's what we do back home. So I wanted to pay the same respects to the Balawa people. Yeah, I'm here. G'day, nice you. Yeah, your brother. Yeah, good to meet you, Russ. Yeah, yeah. yeah great to have you along here. Yeah. And this is my grandson, Jesse. Yeah. Hey, Jesse. Nice to meet you, brother. Yeah, please. Yeah, please. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And you're here in Luchawita, Tasmania, to do some artwork, is that right? That's right, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, would, I would love to use some material from, from your land. Yeah, right. Um, and the land of your ancestors and ask permission and get your blessing to do so. Thank you for, for doing that and seeking out this welcome. Thank you. So we'll give you permission by doing the smoking and cleansing. We'll give you that welcome and permission to go onto our country with respect that you're on Aboriginal land and um, acknowledge the ancestors when you walk in our country. So now I'm going to mark you with some ochre. This is a very special stone we get from, a, um, from the ground, just out here at a special ochre pit, and we know it's a sacred place. When you put this ochre onto your body, it connects you to that country. So when you walk on Lutawita, you walk on the country with that connection to our land. So I'll just mark the, the back of your hand and a little bit on your forehead just to connect you to our land. So when you're out there on our country, you know that you go on country with permission and acknowledge the Aboriginal culture and heritage. Thank you. Welcome. Thanks, Thanks brother. Cheers. and I widen my vision. I don't really look at anything specific, but I just become very observant. So if something catches my eye, and usually I'm looking for symmetry, but sometimes I find something else unexpected, like some kind of asymmetrical shape that I think, you know, oh wow, that's, that's a really interesting shape. So basically I'm just looking at the rock and the rock sort of suggests to me a shape that can fit around it, something complementary to the form that's already there. I chose this rock here because there was like this sort of face, it looks like a fiku in Māori culture, like a, one of our carved ancestors. I might accentuate that face a bit or I might see what happens once I've finished the carving around it. I use the bandsaw first to kind of get rid of most of the timber that I don't need. You can get a good curve with the bandsaw. After that, I move on to the angle grinder, and this chews out like a lot of material as well. And with this, you can really get the shape and cut out everything that you need and start forming the character of the piece. And then I just keep checking it with the form of the rock to see if it's working. Then I move on to the rasps, just clean it up. I fill it with a spray putty and then I sand it back and then I decide what colour to paint it, how to paint it. I love this idea of folding time, like having something ancient and, and futuristic together and I love contrasts in any medium, you know. This piece is going to be a koha in my culture, it's like an offering or a thank you to Uncle Hank and his grandson and the wider Balawa community for using their ancestral land in this work. So that's the idea behind the sculpture. I feel very honoured that I can use these rocks from there. So I'm excited to give this to them. Yeah.